clock, what time does it say? Alright, let me go see if we have to get manually switched. Alright, oh, there we are, look! Hey! And... And welcome to the Mad Scientist Tea Party! Yes, yes, yes. I hope you. Do you hear it? Yeah, that the fingers on on the top. Well, I hope that you folks at home have put on a pot of tea so that you can join us. And uh, it's time to put the kettle on. We've got our kettle on right here. Adam has put the tap kettle on. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> uh, I noticed the uh, bulletin board was on again, Jonathan. Did you have to did you have to switch us manu manually? Well, you tell me that you'd like to get to know me. You tell me that your life's a jungle mess. Another love was going for situation. Well, I know that the mushroom man has text messaged me and said. That he is sick and he won't be here, so we'll, we'll have no mushroom man and the the, the promised mushroom tea probably won't. When you fill that one up, fill it up pretty much as much as you can. Like you know, that's a, that's a hard one. You're trying to get all about almost as much tea in that one as you do the other one, and it's it's hard. I like this, I like this action about it though, don't you? Do we have any sugar cubes in here? We're really low on sugar cubes. Have, have some stevia today. That's strange. It seems to come in different. Well, it's like red, green, more red. Is there non-diet stevia? I don't know. I know. I wonder if it's more fat than real sugar. All natural, more fat than real sugar. <laughs> you know what I discovered? I saw a guy step. You remember the old Burger King? The Burger Burger King Burger King? And he was like this round, fat guy yeah. with the crown on and stuff like that. And now that I've been eating there a lot and I've been putting on a lot of weight. Uh, and I saw a guy standing in line today that looked just like the old Burger King. And I thought, my God, if you eat here, you, you look like that. I think. I know. And, and the, the new Burger King is hideous. Isn't he? So does that mean that you're going to, to not be part of the tea party anymore if you, when your membership runs out? Did I never make you sign off on the show? I can let, I can let you use the equipment. 
I'm a privileged character. You, you're also welcome to uh, any of the condoms in the uh, in the aliens head. <laughs> really? Really? Was it that things work out last night? Did they? Huh? All right. Let's see what we're listening to here. Back on. Oh yeah, we're coming through very well. You can pull your little microphone around if you want. Pull more. That's fine. All right. Test this one. Hello, this one works good. The Mushroom Man won't be here, so we'll we'll have no mushroom songs or mushroom tea. Yeah, of course, because um, Matt Howard and one here yesterday was like, oh, the tea party's starting to get packed again. As soon as he says that, nobody shows up. That's right. <laughs> okay, nice All right. Okay. Well, here we are. It, it's me. I'm John, the mad scientist. And... Adam, yeah, you need to scoot up. Yes. Scoot up to the table. Dr. Adam, what's your what's your last name? Pitts. Pitts. Dr. Pitts. Would you be other be Dr. Pitts? Oh well. What's the matter? Dr. Pitts. Just the doctor will do. You could be Dr. P. I'll just be the doctor. The doctor. Okay. I hear the water beginning to growl. Mm -hmm. It is about that time. And like I say, I hope all of you have put some tea on at home. What would what in these times of national international conflict and national brew ha ha? Uh, it's good to sit down with a cup of tea mm -hmm. and uh, and relax and and watch something uh, absolutely ridiculous on TV. Ah, oh, that would be us. And um, <laughs> yes. And if your if your water is starting to boil, I hope you've I hope you've got a pot with some tea put into it so that we can so that you can pour your hot water into your pot. What are you up to? Oh, you're going to turn on the 
the yep. science <laughs> light. It is the new religion. Mm -hmm. The uh, the atom. Do we know what atom that is? We could count. We could count these as electrons. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. ten, eleven. Twelve. Wait, twelve. twelve. Alright, what's twelve? On hmm? what's I don't remember. You don't you don't know. You know how to find out. Yeah, I'll look at the periodic table of the elements. You think you think there is a, a number twelve? It seems like there would be, doesn't it? It would be four more past oxygen. What would that be? Oh, here we go. <laughs> it says chemistry. Chemistry right there. It says right there on their chemistry. You know, well, it's not carbon, is it? Is it carbon? What's well, carbon? Uh huh. Well, let's see. There should be a table of contents. Mathematical tables, it says. Let's see. Contents. Contents. Electrical. Let's see. Hmm. It's very thin pages. As you know. uh, like Bible pages. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if there's a Dr. Pitts here. PhD, anyway. Okay, contents, contents. Mathematical tables. Well, we noticed that right off the bat. And then, then general chemical tables. You want to catch that? Okay. I just um, like the noise. Okay. You hear my teapot is whistling. Okay. Oh. Well, these aren't alphabetical. Uh, it's not very scientific. No. <laughs> Well, I know they had periodic tables back then, didn't they? That's from 1,500 to 1,800. I, I should just open up. Okay. You know, you would think that a book like this will just open. I just expect this book to open up to, the period, to a periodic table. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Here we go. General chemical tables. Okay. Yeah. And we got. Haven't found it yet. I wonder if they call it table of the elements. It should be under P, shouldn't it? Well, it's not alphabetical. A is the first thing, the next thing is S, then I. See if I can. Hormones, vitamins, physical constants. See, it says general chemical tables. Those are. Chemical tables, though. Yeah. I don't think that elements aren't chemicals. <laughs> All right. Well, what would they be under general general elemental tables? Well, they they make up chemicals. Look at that. Yeah. Now that's that's some good stuff right there. We'll have to look up some of our favorite uh, chemicals. Yes. What would those be? Well, those would be psychedelics. Okay. Well, you would. I would. I would just still expect to see a periodic table in a book that says chemistry on the front of it. Phys yeah. Physics and chemistry and such. You would think. I'm, well, I know this is really old. Was this before the? No, was, could this have been done before they had the? I no, doubt it. they couldn't have written this stuff up before they had <laughs> a periodic table. 
Oh, well, don't tell me they don't have one in here. Probably in the back. That's where I would think it would be. Must be. Just, uh, quantities and units. Mm. Oh, it's worthless. Well, maybe not entirely, but it might need it to have a. A book to go with it that's got a periodic table. Yes. Oh, well, I don't know. You want to see if you can do any better? What's that say on it? It's Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. Now, if the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics, 38th edition, doesn't have a periodic table, it seems, that seems something's wrong, doesn't it? I would think. I was only expected to. Yes. Is this, is, are we boring? Are we boring yet? We're just waiting for like four more minutes for the alarm clocks to go off and we go into the 420 panic. And and we've decided, although we're not sponsored for a 420 roll on this day of the week, um, we're going to run the 420 roll anyway, and we're going to run the Henry Rollins 420 roll just like we did yesterday, uh, so that and if any of you. Um, run into Henry when he shows up for his little thing that he's doing. I wouldn't expect to find it under mathematics. You know? Of course, I did give you that job to do, so I should just let you do it, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Did you find it under mathematics? Look at that. Oh, ha, ha. Well, you could have just answered the question now, couldn't you? <laughs> now, let me see. We have one. One. We have one over here and one over there, and they're both hydrogen. Okay, we've got two hydrogens as number one. Number two is helium, I believe that. Number three, Li, is that lithium? Okay, four, five, six is carbon. Is that nit nitrogen? Eleven's no. over on the other side. Okay, then we got oxygen. 11 and 12. Mg, is that magnesium? Mm -hmm. It's a metal. Magnesium. Now, how? Do, oh, so so we think we have a magnesium atom up here? No, that, it's only got 11. It's the one before it. It only has 11? Oh, no, well, it does have 12. You're right. That's right. I can't see the bottom one. Okay. Yes. Right. And its atomic weight <laughs> is 24.32. Right? And it has uh, two electrons in its inner shell, eight in its next shell, and two electrons in its outer shell, wanting six more. Or, or I don't know what it's wanting. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Interesting. See what aluminum has for its electron structure. I guess it would sooner. I guess it would sooner share those two than to take on six more. You think? So, yeah. So, what would it combine well with? What does oxygen? What does oxygen have? It wants two, doesn't it? Oxygen is one, but it wants two. Okay. Look, oxygen. Yeah, oxygen is for eight, right there. Okay, and it has two in its inner shell. It wants eight in its outer shell. So it has eight. It wants two. So magnesium would want to combine with oxygen, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oxygen wants to combine with itself, mostly. Well. It does a really good job of that. Uh-huh. Because that's what we breathe, is O2. 
Oh yeah? They don't breathe just oxygen. Oh! Oh! It's time. It's time. It's time. Yes. Yes. Uh, for me to push buttons and make weird things happen. Let's see if this works. It will. It's gonna work. It's gonna work, boys and girls. Oh dear, I've never, I've not yet set it up. There it is, and there's oh, no, no, this, this one, and there we go. It's a 420 roll. Good morning. Welcome to the Pleasure Saucer. Always, Fry Theater on Crowded Five. That's fine. There you go. From cameras, I just sometimes can't keep an erection with the hot lights in my face. I know what you mean. Okay, this is this is Sherry and Dave and Henry Rollins from Black Flag. Is that your name? Is that your name? I'm supposed to introduce. <laughs> this is. My name's Henry. I'm in the band Black Flag. And who are the other band members? In Black Flag? Yes. Uh, Greg on guitar, Kira Rossler on bass, and Anthony on drums. Okay. Um, would you like to start us out with a short history of the band? Well, Black Flag is a band from uh, Hermosa Beach, California. The band started about 1976. And uh, there's been a few lineup changes here and there, but the band is intact, and uh, here we are. What was the initial reaction to your music when you first began? Um, hatred, revulsion, fear, more hatred, and uh, mixes of the three aforementioned. Uh, do you write any of the lyrics for the band? Uh, a little bit over half right now. Me and Greg basically do all the lyrics. Okay, and uh, what inspires you? I mean, what makes you... What do you write about? Oh, uh, just things I feel, things I think about, and that can be inspired by anything, you know, maybe something today, you know, the, uh, from doing all this might make me think of something, you know, just like a normal person thinking and feeling and uh, being there, you know, makes you do stuff, makes you think about stuff and uh, makes you want to communicate and what well, makes me want to communicate. That's why I do what I do. And what are a few of the songs that you've written? Well, uh, on the new album or just in general? or On the new album, I wrote a song called I'm the One, which I like a whole lot. Uh, I've written, let's see, Wound Up, The Bars. Uh, I don't know, I forget all the titles. I wrote a whole bunch. All right, uh, what sort of feeling do you want people to get when they hear your music? Is it sort of a release for them, or should it make them think or feel a certain way? Well, I would, personally, I would, I would hate to um, tell people what to feel about anything. Um, I hope they feel what they want, or whatever they feel. I, I, I think if you tell them what to feel, that's half the fun is gone. I mean... I think, moreover, like, do you just are you just out for people to enjoy your music? Is that what it is? No. Or are you just, trying to change the world in some way? No, I'm not into the the YouTube Bruce Springsteen yeah. chip either. I'm I'm here to do my music, and I play for me, and that's the attitude of Black Flag. Black mm -hmm. Flag plays for Black Flag. We're not an entertainment unit. We don't have this message of, you know, it's just there. It is. It's there to be taken or left. And that's it. It's very simple. You know, there's really no method to our madness. You know, we just play and we enjoy playing. And it would seem a lot of other people enjoy the fact that we play also enough for us to go around and do it in several cities all over the world. Okay, hypothetical question from left field. The Ministry of Entertainment at the White House screws up and Black Flag gets to play for the president. 
It gets through the sensors and all that. What song would you open with? And why? Well, I don't know. Well, we've been opening with Loose Nut every night, so I guess we'd probably open with Loose Nut. Do you think Reagan would slam? I don't know. I don't know him. Okay. I know I wouldn't care. Just like I don't care what anyone else does. I mean, as long as they don't try and hurt me or uh, try and go out and hurt someone else. I mean, I don't care what someone does. I'm not into these people who go and try and hurt people. I'm not into violence like that. That's not good. But uh, I'm into freedom and doing what you want. Okay. Um, how do you think the smaller scenes like Knoxville and places like that compare to some of the larger scenes such as New York in the terms of the crowds, the attitudes, and that sort of thing? Well, I think everyone is the same in that they're, you know, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, a brain, you know, feeling, boy, girl, and that's all the same. What I have found, my experience has been in larger cities, sometimes, sometimes, you might find more of a cynical, I've heard it before attitude, because a lot of times they have. I mean, uh, Black Flag will pl play New York four times in a year, wherein we'll play Knoxville once or twice. You know, so you might find a more cynical thing, but maybe not. You know, we play a lot of major cities that are just really cool, like here. I mean, last time Black Flag played Knoxville, we had a really good time, and we were all very eager to come back here. In fact, all the shows we did in Tennessee were great the last time, and so far we've done uh, Nashville and Memphis, and they've both been great. We've had a great time. That was this Friday and Saturday. It's real fun. Do you find in some of the more developed scenes that you play at that uh, as a scene develops, attitudes start to coagulate around it and it gets more restricted? Or do you find that... Find anytime there's a scene, there's definite restrictions. And that's why I'm not into scenes and I don't support scenes. Because when you support scenes, you support unity. And I'm not into unity. I don't want to play to a mass of people. If there's 100 people in the room, I want to play in front of 100 persons not a big blob of cells. They're not all, they don't all think the same. I would hope not. It'd be a pretty boring world. Okay, do you have any questions? If you could be any animal, what would it be? A rat. Why? Or a roach. Because a rat, if you, we threw you in the ocean and a rat in a big pail of water and left you both overnight. The rat would, would be treading water in the morning and you'd be dread, dead, drowned. Rat can uh, chew through the cinder block right here. It can uh, chew through lead pipe. It can uh, nourish itself on food that you would not even go near. And it can uh, tread water for 24 hours. The roach can survive nuclear devastation, uh, poison. It lives to perpetuate itself. It's a perfect survival machine. So if it wasn't a human being, I'd like to be more of a perfect machine. The human is very faulty, very frail, very stupid. And I think there's more beauty in something like the roach or a rat, something that lives to live. With is there anything stupid or silly that you'd like to say that no other interviewer has given you a chance to say? I wish people would call me Cindy Lauper more often than Henry. I like, I like the name Cindy. Cindy is a nice name. Ever since I was young, I always felt more comfortable with the name Cindy. So maybe if you saw me now, if you said, hey, Cindy, it might make me feel nice. Cindy Rollins? Yeah, I kind of like that. It's kind of nice, Cindy yeah. Rollins. Oh, I think it's silly. One more question. Yes. Do you watch ATV? Of course not. Cut, uh, cut, well, I think wait. we can end this interview now. Turn the lights off. Yeah. Do I get my money now? Where's my money? Wait, wait. You can go on. Go play. <laughs> Oh, modern man.